People often ask me what my hunts are really like, how much stuff is really getting cut out of my videos, and do I potentially cheat to be able to get big animals? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly what happens in my videos without cutting out all the stuff that you normally wouldn't see. I literally just spent the last 25 minutes real time trying to find a single brown bear. We finally got eyes on one and it happens to be a huge mythical. He's out there about 400 yards right out on that point. Now, such an interesting spot for a bear to be. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what locations the bear are at at this point. But I've checked every single lake over in this region here. And not one single brown bear. Next up, I'm going to check this lake over here, this horseshoe lake. And then I'm going to check over here, this little lake here. I know for sure there's definitely brown bear up here, but not a lot. Nonetheless, we got ourselves a pretty special one out here. He's a huge mythical right out there. So now we need to figure out a plan to get him. Well, this is as close as we can possibly get from right here, unless we get over to that side over there, which will have a good wind, but it's gonna put us at somewhere around, well, I can't quite tell how far that is. But something tells me it's going to be over 100 yards when we get to this point right here. Yeah, that's going to be too far. So the only thing that we could possibly do is get in this boat, sneak up behind him, come in from the backside over here, and hopefully we can get into range. Now that could definitely work. But he is for sure worth it. So let's go down here, get in the boat, and hopefully we can make it over there silently. All right, here's the boat, and there is going to be our massive brown bear right over there. About 300 yards. So let's try and cross. All right, I think that worked pretty good. We're still... Ooh, we're actually way closer than what I was expecting here, so... We're going to have to be careful. But I'm hoping we made it over here silently, and we didn't spook that big brown bear. I'm hoping. We're only about 150 yards out, but we're gonna stay tucked in this thick stuff here and try and loop around so we have a good wind. All right guys, so we're coming around this corner here and we got ourselves another brown bear. It appears we have a female brown bear right there, about 130 yards out from us. Well, we're not really too interested in her right now because we got this massive brown bear right around this point. He should still be there. I can't imagine he would have taken off unless the boat potentially spooked him as we cross this lake here. But we're going to play it as if he's still there and he did not spook from that. We should be about 160 yards out from him. And there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh my god. He's still right there, guys. Oh, what a perfect setup. Huge mythical. We're going to be able to silhouette him right out on that point absolutely beautifully. If we can sneak into 100 yards... We'll be able to let one fly. And man, this is going to be awesome. Look at that. How cool is that? We're literally watching this bear from the moonlight of that huge moon there. Shining down on this point. We have a great wind. Everything is definitely looking in our favor at this point. And now we just got to take our time. Creep into range without getting detected. And let one fly. Oh my god, you guys. We're approaching the 100 yard mark here and any minute now we're going to be about 80 yards out from this massive mythical brown bear. What a heck of a setup we have right here. What a heck of a moment this is. A full moon overlooking this beautiful lake here, climbing up along the edge of this mountain and just an awesome, awesome moment. But there he is right there. Oh my God. All right, let's see what we got, guys. Let's see what we got. 90 yards. 90 yards right there. Okay. So here's the thing. I can't tell if we're spotting that rock or the bear. What I want to do to check is spot this rock. That's 80. According to that, we're looking at 90 yards right there. We absolutely cannot get any closer. That's going to be our shot right there. 90 yards. 
We've been training all our lives for this moment right here. So here we go. We're going to try and zero in for that rock. 90 yards. And we're going to let one fly. I don't honestly know what just happened. What did just happen? I mean, the bear is a hundred yards out right there. And if we're zeroed in for 90, it should have been a pretty epic shot. But luckily this bear is actually coming towards us. This is going to work out even better than before. Oh my god, here he comes. He's coming right towards us. I don't know why it didn't count or how it didn't count. But frankly, it doesn't matter. Because we got a massive brown bear. 70 yards out from us at this point. He's facing directly at us. I don't even know where our arrow went. Like, where did it go? I mean, we're shooting tracers. And... Unless it went over the top of him and went into the water, which would be literally impossible because that's a hundred yards. We would have hit somewhere in between, but this grizzly, I mean, this brown bear is coming right for us, guys. He's less than 60 yards away at this point. <sighs> the only thing now is we can't actually silhouette him very good. Holy, he is right there. He sees us. He sees us. Let's see if we can't get him to spin around. Because that is not a shot I'm comfortable with. What if we go down more? If we go down more, we might be able to silhouette him. <laughs> We're going to go for a standing shot or what? I mean, I'll do it. It's not ideal, but I would do it. All right, I see him. 67 yards. Come on, come on, come on. Turn broadside. It's our chance. That's our chance right there. Spin back around. Too tough. Too tough of an angle. Cannot chance that angle. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. He's going back to that spot. He's going back to that spot. Come on. Come on. Turn broadside. All right. So he's right there at 78. All we could really do is go for a Texas heart shot. But it's way too risky on a big grizzly like this. Way too risky. All right, well, since the fact that he's actually calm, we're going to use this in our advantage and try and close the distance a little bit more. He's definitely in range, but we need him to turn broadside. We absolutely need him to turn broadside. All right, you guys, he's pretty broadside right there. He's quartering away 75 yards. That's a shot. That's a shot. Oh my god! Ah! Oh, what a shot! We smoked him! Perfect double lug heart shot. 75 yards right there. <gasps> we may have missed him once, but that shot was absolutely cash money. <sighs> to drop a huge brown bear after all that is such a relief. Man, I am shaking right now. I am absolutely shaking right now. What a moment that was. And to see that tracer light up going right towards the heart. Look at that. Tucked it right in there. Right at the heart. And I honestly think that we pulled off a heart shot. I honestly think we did.
All right, let's try and get a picture of this guy. And there we go. Another thing I looked and I saw our arrow over there, guys. Don't ask me how the heck it got over there. But there's our arrow right there. Uh, we'll check that out in a second. But for now, let's pick up this massive brown bear. We pulled up an epic 77 yard double lug hard shot. 26.8 gold. Massive mythical light brown. Brown bear. Holy look at that shot. Wow. <laughs> Oh, wow. Moments like these here are what makes this game so worth it. I mean, it's just priceless moments. He was stopped, quartering away at 77 yards. And we buried that thing right in there and made a beautiful double long heart shot. Absolutely couldn't be more proud of this bear. Could not be more proud of this bear massive massive brown bear holy i mean the fact that we were less than 80 yards away from this brown bear for almost 25 minutes and we couldn't get a shot finally we got a shot and i don't know what happened i really don't it didn't make much sense at all but the arrow dropped and i don't even know where it hit because i couldn't see it but anyways, then we snuck into 77 yards. The bear slowly started wandering off to the edge of the lake there, and he was quarter away perfectly, so we tucked the pin right on that front shoulder a little bit far back to compensate for that angle, and Kunta made a much more perfect shot. Really Kunta. What a beautiful bear, and what an incredible shot. That thing weighed 932 pounds. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Alright, so our other arrow was over here. What? Dude, the arrow disappeared. Our brown bear was right there. This rock is the only rock that was covering most of the vitals on that bear. And it's saying our arrow is here. But I don't even see it. Well, we might as well pick it up, I suppose. <laughs>